how to sell high ticket coaching. All right, I'm not gonna tell you guys to just cold DM everybody. I'm not saying that doesn't work, just kinda sucks. Uh, in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how I've sold and am selling currently my high, high ticket coaching programs. Let's dive in. First time I ever watched Russell sell a coaching program, he didn't made a million dollars in three weeks. It was ridiculous. <laughs> and then I watched him make 3.2 million in 90 minutes. And then after that, I watched him make 12 million in, uh, I think that was two hours. And it was crazy. I was like, I have to try this. Obviously, I'm not as big as him, but I tried to model his model for high ticket coaching and uh, and selling it. So at my events, I started selling it, and then we did 150 grand, then we did 1.6 million, then we did 440, and then we did. I, uh, two, no, 120 after that. Anyway, rah, 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 humble flex. I'm just trying to tell you guys that we know how to sell high ticket coaching. We actually went back through all of our numbers and all of our revenue and all of our funnels and bar none out of all of our products, the ones that make the most money and the most impact for people is actually our coaching program, a high ticket coaching program. So we do this a lot. We do it through funnels. We try and get one a week and I'm gonna to talk to you more about how you can do this for your own business so that you can uh, really boost your bottom line. Now let's dive in. Now the first thing that you need in order to go and start selling a high ticket coaching program is a solid offer, right? You need to be able to have an offer to them. They're like, man, this is really, really cool. Um, bringing up one of the examples I did earlier, uh, it was actually with Russell that I remember doing it. Russell Brunson when I worked there, uh, we were, it was in the middle of an event and we were selling this, we didn't actually know. And that was the problem. We actually sat down and it was the executive team and myself and we sat down and we started brainstorming the high ticket offer. What, what it was in. We were in the middle of the event. And the night before we're sitting around this whiteboard, like, man, what's going to be this offer It was a little bit backwards than we usually did it. But we sat down and we were like, what are we going to, what's we going to sell the next day? And I just want you to observe what it really is like brainstorming an offer with Russell. Oh my gosh, you know what we could do? We could have him come and let's have him show up for three days. We're going to teach him how to build a funnel and not just teach. We're going to do it. We're going to stop every 15 minutes. They're going to have a chance to actually apply what it is that we're teaching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sweet. Write that down. What else can we give him? What else can we give him? Oh, you know what? What if we had him? Oh, you know what? They're going to sleep in Russell's house. Yeah, it's awesome. He's going to make him breakfast. They're going to use his toothbrush. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're going to sleep in his pajamas too. Oh, they're going to love it. The psychos especially. They're going to love that one. No, that's dumb. That's dumb. That's crazy. Oh, let's go back. All right. And what we would do is, this is a big point, all right? Because people are afraid to go there. Okay. We go back and we go, all right, that's weird with the pajamas, no toothbrush, not going to make breakfast. But what's interesting is every single time we built an offer, we would give room for the crazy zone. Okay, go to the crazy zone. You want to sell something that's unique and different? This is how you do it. Okay, brainstorm free flow ideas, free flowing ideas, free flowing ideas. You're capturing all of them, you're writing them down, no judgment. And then you go back through and you take a marker and cross out the psycho. Okay, and what you end up having is when you combine, I ta someone taught me this in college, um, an amazing marketer. Um, he said, Hey, what you're going to do is you're going to combine crazy zone with mainstream. And when you do that, you actually are left with prolific in the middle ground. So if you want a prolific offer, you need to start having psycho out of the box ideas. Don't judge them, even though they sound a little weird sometimes coming out. And you're like, you know, we're going to do that. We're not going to do that. You know what we could do, though? What if we told them there's one night where we're going to stay up till 1 or 2 a.m. And you're actually going to write your webinar. <sighs> no one's doing that right now. Oh, my gosh prolific zone. You see what I'm saying? So you take a crazy zone and you add it with mainstream and you're left with prolific. Now your offers need that for coaching. You have to have that for your coaching programs because there's a lot of coaching programs. So how does your offer differ? Take some time to sit around and sit back and go, what is it that I'm going to actually do? Another element that you need to have inside of your offer is some kind of risk reversal. Now I love Alex Ramosi for this. Alex Ramosi is one of the kings of high ticket coaching and, and offers and sales. And uh, I love his stuff. He's awesome. What he does, and you might consider this as well, what he does is he goes back and he looks at the stats. For those of you guys who are already selling an offer, he looks at the stats of his students. And he's like, oh my gosh, 60% of the students make their money back in the first three months when they do this thing. And then he makes that part of the offer. Hey, what you're going to get is this. You're going to get this. You're going to get this. And by the way, when you do this, did you know that 60% of students make their money back from the program in the first X amount of time when they just use this thing in the offer? If you're willing to take those odds, you need to buy this, right? And he uses logic and a lot of numbers to sell somebody. That's a great strategy as well. But first and foremost, you have to have a cool offer. I like to add coaches in there that are not me. I like to add a community in there that's not me. The risk reversal thing that I was just talking about. You need to understand that you are not the offer. 
one of the biggest mistakes I made in the early amounts, okay, early times for me. You are not the offer. You're not their hero. You're not their guide. Okay, you're trying to be Gandalf, not Frodo. And if you position yourselves as Frodo, someone thinks that they're buying you, and it's a weird coaching relationship out of the gate. You need to make it clear that they are buying a guide, not you, and they are their own hero. That's a big key piece with high ticket coaching offers. The second thing you need in order to sell high ticket coaching is a script. I'm gonna tell you guys I'm gonna spend the least amount of time on this in this video because there is so much on it already. And I have other I have other videos in YouTube about that specific thing, you can go watch them, okay? Uh, but the script, I just used the perfect webinar script. But Steve, it's not a webinar, you're on a stage. I know. <laughs> actually, the perfect webinar script was misnamed. Russell hates that he calls it that, I hate that it's called that. It's actually a perfect sales script. It was actually made from stages. Um, and the accumulation of all his lesson of what it took to pitch on a stage. And so if I'm gonna go pitch something at an event or even on a webinar, I use the perfect webinar script for my high ticket coaching. And so a few things that we add in there that really make it uh, exciting. Obviously, you need to have a story of the different benefits that are in there. Um, I like to incentivize someone to act quickly. And one of the best examples I ever saw of that is uh, we were selling the Two Comic Club uh, X program, and it was, I think it was 18 grand. And if you joined during the event, you got an invitation to join us on the cruise at the end of the program. That was awesome. <laughs> that was so cool. Okay, it's super hard to get a stage rush, man, but I watched a stage rush happen for that one. You got to get on an invitation for the cruise uh, at the end of the program if you joined during the actual event. That was a fantastic one. But little tiny orchestrations like that. Um, make sure you always close enrollment. At the end of the event, they are no longer able to enroll anymore. And making that open and, for and, and uh, in the forefront of everybody's mind. Those are huge, huge reasons for the script. I'm not gonna go anymore into the script piece because I've got other videos on that, but the script, dude, my second event, this is the biggest event that we had so far, um, I spent two weeks writing that script. I'm talking sun up to sundown and way past. I obsessed over that script and it was still the best thing that we did. The script is the hardest of all of your speeches. Hey, before I talk to you guys about how I actually sell this in a funnel, which is so nice and evergreen, hit subscribe. I would love for you guys to subscribe to this channel. I talk about a lot of funnel, internet marketing, and online business strategies, and they're free. Costs us money, costs you nothing. Hit the bell so that we can tell you about each video that comes out every weekday. Also in the comments below, tell me uh, one of your favorite scripts, one of the favorite pitches you've ever heard that made you go, I wanna pull my wallet out. Observe that in yourself. It's one of the greatest educations ever. Subscribe and watch the comments below. Now I wanna tell you this third piece here, and it's how we actually go sell on the internet Something that's really expensive, right? Something that is at least 10 grand, 20 grand, 30 grand, 50 grand. Um, my mastermind right now is $50,000. And it's, uh, to be able to put a credit card order form for 50 grand on the internet, that's just not probable, right? That's just not gonna happen. So how do you sell something like that when the point of sale is not on the internet? Isn't that interesting? That's a weird problem to solve. I modeled the inner circle sales funnel um, to a T. And that's how I do it with my coaching programs and uh, with uh, Mastermind and things like that. And so this is how it works. On the very first page, we tell exactly what they're going to get in the coaching program or in the Mastermind. You can use this for Masterminds as well. Um, and what we do is we say, click here to begin your application. On the next page, what we have is the actual application. Now, this is a key piece. People mess it up. Okay? It's a real application, first off. But second of all, we ask them, there's a key question that we ask in there, because we ask them to tell about themselves. Uh, we say, hey, tell us about your business. And then we make sure that one of the last questions is, there are a lot of people who try to get in this program, and this is a real application, and we say no to a lot of people. Why should we choose you over somebody else? Oh, baby. Think about what that does for the psychology of it. That actually means that they start selling you on them. It flips the script. It completely changes the entire relationship. And what's cool about that is then they start saying, I will, you know, someone will say something like, um, I will out execute everybody. If I get in this program, I will go completely all the way, you know, I'm, I'm gonna go all the way to the, to the end zone, right? I'm gonna take this ball and I'm gonna run with it. I want this opportunity more than anything else. What does that do when someone has identified why they're a good fit before you get on the phone with them? That's a huge deal. That's a massive hack to the game. It flips the entire script that means I can constantly be getting applications and when one pops up that's like, this person really wants to be in this program. That alone, right there, great filter from the other people who probably aren't a good fit yet. So that's what happens. We have them fill out the application and then on the final page it says, call us now to skip the line 
or schedule a time and we'll talk with you in the next seven days. And that's how it happens. And that machine right there fills and keeps filled my internal phone team as well. That's how we sell it on the internet. Before you click away, I got a free gift here for you. I actually love uh, the very topic that you watched right here. Um, the whole internet launching game is massive. Go to internetlaunchsecrets.com and you'll actually see all the stuff I talked about in this video in action. Internetlaunchsecrets.com is in the description and in the first comment and it'll teach you more about how to execute what I was showing you in this video. You'll see the three top revenue strategies for high ticket sales that we use over and over and over again and it's free. Go to internetlaunchsecrets.com.